Hi Internet, so today we're going to talk about writing and I need the assistance of alcohol to get these words out. So I just watched Katie Tastic's video, because I love Katie Tastic and her videos, so why wouldn't I watch it? And she was talking about writing and how she is with it at the moment and a not a writing update, but not really writing. She like verbalised things that I'm having issues with. <laughs> and it just like in crafting a comment because you must craft comments one cannot simply post a comment without over analyzing it i realize i really want to make a video about this so i put on a nanowrimo shirt and got my trusty tequila so let's get into this in nanowrimo i made a few vlogs and i really loved it and i've spoken about writing before and how i have issues with it but i found after nanowrimo i went through and i read my story to youth center central youth something along that lines it's not the actual name don't know what the actual name is but that's what i decided to name it because there was a place in the book that i referred to as center youth at one stage i that story is complete in my mind like i know everything that happened there are a few things that i was iffy about and um read out a couple of different ways and i was convinced i had written everything in that story like i finished it and i was like i love where i'm finishing this like this is the best and kind of cried i reread it i did not write the ending at all I, there are scenes that are missing that I'm like, but I'm sure I wrote it. No, I didn't, because it's not in Scrivener, and Scrivener has everything. And it also wasn't in my Google Drive, because Google Drive had a lot of things from work. And I've been going, I had been going through and rewriting it. Didn't do much in December. Didn't do much in Jan, well, did a fair bit at the start of December, and a bit in January. But not too much. Then I've been taking my writing seriously again, and kind of been crafting more of the backstories and stuff for that story. And then I stopped because I ran out of the creative juices for it for a while there. Which I'm fine with putting that on the back burner because I love it, I just don't know how in love with it I am. Or how it's going to work because there's some things that I need to work out that are going to take me a while to work out. Then I picked up the story that I've been working on for fucking eight years and have been crafting that. And I'm still working on that. Um, like last, I was getting to a point this week where it's the point that I have previously stopped on multiple occasions. Like I know exactly what happens after this. This story is finished in my fucking mind. But it's the part where I'm never sure what's going in this part because it's between the next big thing in the plot and I have to get it to there and getting it to there just doesn't work. I stop here. I'm like, mm, it's over there. Um, I actually got past that point and I'm going to continue to get past that point and worked out a few things that didn't make sense in doing so, which is fantastic because I've been working on that story and like writing down and creating the world and crafting it. At the same time, there's another story that I have written, I've been planning and creating for eight months now. It's part of the world, kind of. It leads into a couple of other stories. Well, it has to go with a couple of other stories. They're all like fantasy standalones, but oh my god, I love them. Pop them one, one's a series. Anyway, this particular one, all month, I just create, keep creating more things for it. And then I've had three dreams this month that have ended up being stories. Well, it's not even dreams, or just something that has come to me that when listening to a song, reading something, or sleeping, that they just mix together. One of them kind of They've ended up just bleeding back into that one story that's been in a map out of my head for the last few months and working that stuff out, although it is still its own thing and I really love it because oh, I just the way it works, I got an idea and I love the idea of it, I just don't know how I'm going to make it work. Another one I got from reading on my old work and a couple of other things that all mixed together and I'm loving that but I've, I've gotten both those to the point, well I've gotten that one to the point where I can stop for a while. Like I've gotten down the main ideas of it, although it's still floating in there and keeps collecting things and I'll probably end up running more into it. It's staying open on my desktop. It's That's how much I'm not finished with it. And then I got the one I call The Assassin and the Princess, which that name has nothing to do with it. Well, it kind of does, because there is an assassin in it and there is a princess. But that kind of makes it sound like it's a love story between the assassin and the princess. No, this is, they're like friends or whatever. I can't even remember. No, I can remember. That one has been getting written down like crazy. Like, I worked out all the backstory and a lot of things with it. And plot points. Like, I know the plot of the story now. And then I was just like, that's cool. They can sit over there. It has its own book. Lots of things have their own notebook. I have a lot of notebooks at the moment. I keep carrying around like six, a, pack, a stack of six notebooks. And then I'll sit down and I'll like write it and write it and uh. Those three have all been fighting for dominance on <laughs> you need to work us out or she's gonna hit the fan. At least one of them, the middle one, the one that's a few things combined into each other, I'm kind of seeing going, it's one that I could 
write and continue writing because I have been writing it. And then I wouldn't want to release it as a book. I'd want to release it on like Fiction Press or Wattpad. So I might end up doing that when I've finished it because I am never releasing a first draft on Wattpad. I love people that do. I have a cousin that does. I, I love Wattpad. But I have tried. <laughs> oh, it's just remembered about that story. Oh, I love that story so much. Oh, that's right. That, 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 that's changed. That, I just remember how that one changed. I still love it. I, I think I posted two chapters or one chapter on there. And I've had a few things go on, like fan fiction and fiction press. Well, I'll put a few chapters and then I, just, I can't do it. Putting up a first draft doesn't work for me because I don't write in order all the time. And I like to jump around and I like to develop the world as I'm writing as well as develop the world mostly before I start writing. Putting a first draft on what pad terrifies me. Also because then you get readers that love the story and what happens when you go back and edit it and they read it and they're like, this isn't the same story I love. I've had authors um, that I found from like fan fiction and other side she moved over to and they've released a book and it changed and part of me loved it because it's an awesome book. What was that one? Um, Simpri and Simpri Forever. That series is awesome but it's different from the way it started on fan fiction but oh my god, I'm fine with it, I love it. But the idea of like releasing something and being so sad when it's different, um, there's another one from Wattpad that I'm not going to name, that the ending was different and annoyed me just because I fell in love with the characters in the Wattpad story. I should go back and read the whole book but it kind of destroyed it so I have to buy another version. And now that I'm like away from it, I'm not upset with it, I kind of love that idea. I think about release, like how I want to finish my main story. My mother has been begging me to read my stuff for years now. I won't let it because anyone reading a first draft terrifies me even though I'm gonna call it secret, the one I've been working on for eight years, even though <laughs> that one is technically it's not in the first draft anymore it's in like it's 50th draft and I know that story so well I can't let her read it until it's done I'm the same with my paintings um now I can finish a painting and be done with it I was better at it in high school that like the two paintings I finished in high school that are over my bed those two I was fine with because I did in that class and I could say when it was done and I had a teacher standing there going it's done the things that I've done after high school either haven't finished have scrapped um there have been words I have done a couple of paintings now for my parents. My paintings aren't fantastic but I love them and they're an expression of art and freedom and I've had to like literally get there and go I can't do it I'm signing it I'm signing it it's done it's done because otherwise I will work on it forever you let me I, I will and I only got to that point because I had been doing so much drawing for a while there that I just had to finish things and work on them and kept doing drafts of them yet I can't get that down with stories I can't say it's done even now with secret I'm sitting there going, it's not done. And I'm to a point where a couple of things don't match up, match up and I really want to go and attack them. I've reread the last couple of days because I couldn't really mold my head around the story. I just kept rereading it and rereading what I've written and rereading what I've written. Had a sentence, reread what I've written. It's not the most productive way of going about things. And it's my reading's been shit this month. Like, I was meant to be doing. Um, Readathon for Project TBR. I read the first half of Duck's Part of the Forest on like the last day and then finished that today. Oh my god, I love that story. I started Alice in Wonderland. I haven't finished it. I want to finish it. I'm planning to do that this week because this week is going to be reading week because the darkest part of the forest has made me fall in love with it and I've already... The only problem is I have the gorgeous, gorgeous UK edition because I wanted the UK edition but it's only slightly bigger than a UK paperback. I don't know what to do there. Most of my books are UK size because Australia uses UK books usually. I just have to find that balance again between vlogging and booktube and um, writing and reading. I need to read. I have a booktube channel. I need to read. I kind of feel guilty that, that at the same time I'm like, dude, I've been writing. Writing's more important. It creates books. You can always tell when I'm in a creative place because I start drinking again. I don't always drink. Um, like I'll give it up for months at a time and then go back to it. I can get really heavy into it but that's a whole nother video. Just ticking off everything but yeah so the idea of publishing something or putting it into the world without it being perfect scares the shit out of me. Like Fifty Shades of Grey I hate on that book. I have been trying to read it also in the last week and I have never rage quit so hard against a book. I can't even get a chapter in without rage quitting. I can't get a chapter in. I read the last half of the last chapter, I read the first chapter of the second book and rage quit again. Um, I just hate it. 
I have in my mind that I kind of want to go through and rewrite that book the way it should have been written but at the same time I'm gonna have to read it and not rage quit and that's really hard really hard I just it's the fangirl in me coming out too hard for Twilight and fan fiction in general. I'm like not even mad and mad at the book for being a bad book. I'm mad at it for being a bad fan fiction too. <laughs> I've tried to read it with the fan fiction mind on, and fan fiction Cassie gets more aggressive than book Cassie on a lot of subjects. But that that's another thing that I'm afraid of. I'm afraid that I'll write a book and it'll be bad fan fiction. I don't know how I could stand having a bad fan fiction book. I couldn't stand having a bad fan fiction book. I, the only thing that like, keeps me going is I wouldn't publish something that would be bad fan fiction. I won't publish something that is bad fan fiction, although I've written some. I won't let myself put it out into the world. I won't say it's finished until it's perfect. The things that I worry about in other books and I hate when it comes to the editing and people not wearing red shoes here but not wearing red shoes here and being 17 two years later being nine um being 16 sort of thing that i won't let do like before it got to the editor those things would be fixed the editor would have to focus on grammatical errors and spelling mistakes but i'm i'm okay with that because that's my life and i'm a lot better than i used to be i just i'm also worried that like i'll try and get something published and be laughed out like <laughs> you want to write that what bullshit and be like not bullshit, but it will be bullshit. Then my feelings of writing, writing, yeah. Oh my god, I'm terrified of everything. Post a video on the internet. Oh yeah, that's fine. Write a comment on the internet. Fuck no, I'm getting better at that. I'm forcing myself to use Twitter this week because I think Twitter's like the source of my fear. I can tweet, I'm fine at tweeting, but then I get too in my head. So I'm using Twitter as a way to get out of my head. Like blogger, I'm fine with posting whatever fucking shit I want on blogger. Writing a YouTube comment, terrifying. I'm gonna leave you there on this writing Wednesday. Or should I call it alcoholic Wednesday? Yeah, and I hope you guys have been having a lovely week. I'll see you next time. And I'll try to keep to my posting schedule that I made up, but writing is more important. <laughs> And reading's more important. Reading's not more important. Reading isn't more important than videos. I'll put reading off before I make a video. Writing is more important. Anyway, bye.